Hello folks, it's been a while since I made a video and the reason for that is I'm rebuilding the layout as an DC and Marklin AC in the centre. I decided that the centre of the layout was wasted and I had some Marklin locomotives and I wanted to give them a life. So I, in Germany I managed to pick up some very inexpensive M-Track. I've also, uh, sorry, yeah, M-Track. I've also used C-Track for the DC sections. And how I've done that is I've converted them to DC running by, I'll show another video how it's done. It's very simple. But this Marklin C-Track is absolutely beautiful. I've incorporated it with Pico points and the running and the quietness is outstanding. It's also the most inexpensive, well, here in Ireland, of the fixed roadbed tracks. So it's been so easy to put down. It runs like a dream. It's nickel silver, code 90. So it's only a slight difference with the code 100. It actually runs fine. There's no problem there. And uh, today's video is, is an interesting one. People... <laughs> I was talking to a friend the other night, and he was asking me how do how does Marklin how do Marklin trains change direction? As there's no like here on DC control, you have like left, right, center, off. Or on the Marklin one, you only have the throttle, and you have this thing here. Now, if you look at what you do is you move the throttle all the way to the left. And what it does is it sends a 24 volt pulse to the relay, an analog relay. This is my layouts are always going to be analog, into the locomotives, and this switches the relay and allows them to go the opposite direction. So moving up the the throttle first, you can see he goes this way. I shouldn't really, I should have really did it with the other loco, but if I click this. It sends the pulse and then allows the loco, the little shunter here, to go the other direction. Now I'll show you again a quick, and how that if, and it sends a pulse to the loco, it goes back the other way. So it's a whole other reason, sorry, a way of doing model trains. One of the reasons I went for the Marklin analog system for the center of the layout is I really like their locomotives and I really like the quality of them. And I have a few, but also with things like the contract tracks and all these other switch tracks and all the other accessories, it kind of creates a, a very interesting analog computer thing where you can create things like automatic train bypassing and uh, shuttles and all kinds of other things and work signals and all, all kinds of other things. So we'll be exploring that in the years to come here in in a... Arcadia Junction model trains. Now with the the DB electric here, again, this is control from this one, right? So we let him go around. The M track is not noisy because it's running on a felt underlay, which comes from IKEA. It really keeps them nice and quiet. And the purpose they got the idea for that from Merklin of Sweden, his channel. Uh, which is very popular, I'm sure you've all watched it. And it was a great tip because the M track now is it's very quiet. So we'll stop it here. I'm going to again turn it all the way to the left to change direction, and you'll actually see the pulse in the locomotive. Right, hear it? I'll do it again. That's the relay being fired by the 24 volts. I'm thinking I think it's still going straight because I did it twice. Okay, I'll stop it there. Fire the relay, increase the throttle, and it goes backwards. Fire the relay, and it goes forward. So it's just like those one little things that people never really talk about. And a lot of the information online about Markland system is mostly in German. My German's not the best. There is one excellent channel called The Third Rail, and there's also American of Sweden, which covers general railway things. The layout in terms of scenery, I've decided to... There was too much in the middle. Forgive me for all the boxes. So I've moved the engine shed and the turntable down here, and it's working great. Fed by the M-Track. This is the DC layout. This is the AC layout. And I put specific... 
note their attention to the corners. See what was happening was there was a mountain in the middle of the layout and it was, you can see the corner down there, I'll zoom in. The mountain in the middle of the layout from the viewers, from you know the, the controllers, the operators point of view was, I had, the layout was wasted. You know, I had great running on the outside with the Gage Master controller, but all, so much of the track was starting to die. It, the, last winter, there was some steel track in there like uh, Triang Super 4, which is a great track, but it, the rust got into it and there was a few other problems as well. So I decided to bite the bucket and relay the track completely. And so we still have Code 90 Markland C track, uh, can, you know, with the points and the switches turnouts being uh, code 100, mostly Pico, and there's been no problems with that. Uh, when it's better fixed up, I'll give you a, a better demonstration. And in the middle, I'm going to have a Markland 1970s type train set. So, uh, sorry for not being around much lately, but uh, for the relay, opposite direction. For the relay, Oop, it's stuck on the point there. For the relay, and off we go. Okay, back more soon with some major updates.